Alright, here's the slide portion of your video. Um, I'm going to give you some bonus footage as there's really two good spots on the fretboard to play this. Um, up around the 12th fret where we'd actually be on the 13th and 11th fret. Um, there we get to just make it like easy shapes. Doing it here we have this note in the middle. So either one's legit as hell. Here's the up the neck one. I'm going everything's 11 to 13. Like, then, that's ninth fret. And then we get bum bum bum. Give it a listen. Should I get it right? Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> to the damp in there uh, on the you know less it'll go <laughs> the other note ringing out so yeah we'll go you know so we'll put it back index we get so that was our So that's all on the same string, the D string, the fourth string. So that'd be the one where I put back on. I'm going so that's 11, or excuse me, 13, 14. place we could do it and we were using our thumb for the fourth string and our index finger for the third string. Now we may well have learned it on the three high strings in fact I think we did so we'll give you two ways to play this which would start those same notes that are at or at, or at the uh, eight and tenth fret. So we'd have dampening would be more important uh, because we're going as you know, from between. easier up there because um, it's all like, two threads apart um, aside from the very last no, uh, riff the... but it does sound like they're on 
the same notes, but the timbre, T-I-M-B-R-E, the quality of the pitch, it sounds like they're on the second string. So again, that's... <laughs> Sorry, that took so long. Just one of those weeks. I have no excuse. <laughs>